The Dubs displayed their vamped firepower in a 111-97 victory over the Los Angeles Lakers in Las Vegas, finishing the preseason 5-0. Moses Moody leading the team in scoring for the third consecutive game by dropping 21 points in just 19 minutes emphasized his development. With a remarkable eight players, including stars like Draymond Green, Jonathan Kaminga, and Stephen Curry, each contributing at least 10 points, the Warriors showcased a steadily deep offensive attack that sets a promising tone for the upcoming campaign. This collection effort both highlights the team's improved chemistry and signals their readiness to contend for the playoffs as they embrace a new chapter minus Klay Thompson. Showing his improvement made over the summer, Jonathan Kaminga scored or assisted on six of the Warriors' first seven field goals. He'd hit Anthony Davis with a tween cross tween momentum to get to his left before spinning back to his right for the contested finish, attacked Davis again this time in a low drop coverage, beat LeBron up the court in transition by catching the lob from Draymond, find Steph off a cross screen from Jackson Davis for the triple, drive baseline to set up Trace in the dunker spot, and beat D'Lo up the floor in transition. The bench mob minus the injured Pajemski of Kyle Anderson, Buddy Heald, Gary Payton II, Moses Moody, and Kevon Looney was productive as GP2 would under duress of the D'Lo closeout, drain a triple from the right corner, and Heald would in the face of Max Christie bury a 28-footer from the right wing. Buddy would curl off a loony pin down and get downhill to hit a mid-range fall away before netting a hockey assist to Kyle Anderson, who whips it to Peyton to complete the fast break. This split action nets Moody a clean catch and release with LeBron late to close out. Hachimura going under this handoff from Looney allows Moody to let fly of another triple, and Moody gets probably the cleanest look of his night when the Lakers just leave him completely wide open right here. Steph using a Draymond screen gets him inside for the runner off the window. With Trace facilitating at the top of the arc, the Lakers bring two out to Steph after Draymond sets the pin down, allowing Green the open slip to the hoop, and it's a slick find by TJD. After the Draymond quick outlet off the inbounds, the Lakers get caught out of position when Reeves lunges for it and comes up empty, and Steph pump fakes to bait James before pushing it ahead and exploding to the cup where he nearly dunks it from slashing to sniping, and Steph flashes us back to his gold medal game clincher at the Olympics by Curry sliding around the TJD screen and fading in the face of two defenders from 31 feet away. To start the second half, an empty side ball screen set by Green sees Steph deny it and step back on the baseline. D'Lo would hit a wobble after knocking down this triple in the face of Curry, only for Curry to immediately clap back a possession later with a wobble of his own. Kaminga found Wiggins in transition for a two-handed jam. Draymond took it coast to coast to pull off a nifty little floater from the foul line over Hachimura. On an elite play up from Steve Kerr, Heald ghosted a cross screen for Kaminga to instead receive a flare from Draymond, giving him a clean catch and shoot from Curry. Heald using a clear corner pin down from Looney gets him leverage to attack to his left and pull up from the foul line off one leg. On a side pick and roll, Kyle Anderson would find Kevon Looney streak into the hole. Same action sees Anderson penetrate the lane to bank it off the window. Moody catch and relocating with Looney ultimately nets him a pull up just outside the nail. Looney faking the handoff to Moody and all in one motion spotting Anderson sees the Lakers leave him open and a Warriors high 56% three point shooter this preseason and Kyle make them pay. A new inbounds play sees GP2 instantly cut to the basket after inbounding to Curry, who sends it right back to Gary for the bucket. Curry scopes out the passing lane to Dalton Connect, intercepting the kick from D'Lo and outletting to Wiggins, who sweeps through for the take. Trace would turn the corner on the right wing to collapse the D and spot Gary in the left corner. Gary would spot the lights out Kyle Anderson in the opposite corner, who pump fakes to get Connect jumping and hits. Trace handing off to Wiggins gets Andrew a straight line drive attack where he elevates around Colin Castleton. Like they did earlier, the Lakers just leave Moody completely wide open and he hits this triple. Moody using a Quentin Post on ball sees Guy Santos cut in from the right corner and get a slick bouncer from Moody that splits two defenders. Moses would fittingly cap off the scoring for the dubs by using a Santos slayer receiving the Lindy Waters swing, and following through in the face of Bronny James Jr. This was your boy D-Flo, and I'll see you next video. One thing about Will, he gonna get his buckets, man. Tell him all.